review. I mean, we have talked about um, to-dos, projects, contacts, and all the next actions, and all this nice stuff, and it works great when you have it all done on paper, on the computer, Nosby, whatever. It works perfectly, but after a week or two, it might stop working if you don't do something about it. So um, uh, David Allen calls it the power of a weekly review. Uh, just <laughs> you think once a week you generate everything you have to do everything next actions and then you know that after a week you're going to think again okay so <laughs> and try in the meantime between those two thought I mean thinking sessions try not to think too much just do stuff let me show an example uh, one of the healthiest jobs so, uh, jobs psychologically are what, what David Allen calls cranking widget jobs. What's, what, what does it mean to crank a widget? So see, you have materials, right? For example, like that. You go to your job, there, there's a pile of these materials, and there is this great machine that you're, you, you know, you're operating. So whenever you put this stuff into this machine, a product com comes, comes out, right? So all you do during the whole day, you just go like that, done. And that's all you have to do. You don't have to think about it. I mean, you just do your stuff. You, I mean, after this, after you, you leave your work, you don't think about the work. It's done. It's there. You have lots of energy to, you know, to, to have fun, to spend with your family, to meet friends. You don't have to you know, think about your job. And how many times we have been thinking about our jobs, if not all the time. Uh, so, um, and this is possible. I mean, this is exactly what the next actions uh, are about. If you have your next actions, you just go and just go one by one. <laughs> and everything is done. So now, the calendar. People are slaves to their calendars. And we have to admit it, we are slaves to our calendars. Because when we do the weekly review, for example, people, lots of people make this mistake of planning, okay, on Monday I will do this, on Tuesday I will do that, on Thursday I will do that. But then on Monday, for example, there is not, I mean, something goes wrong, or they are not in the mood of doing that. So in calendar, just put time-specific things. For example, this presentation. If I don't show up at 7 o'clock, there is no presentation, and that's it. There is no second chance. But if I don't write something, uh, I can write it today or tomorrow or day after tomorrow. The thing is, um, don't try to bind your tasks to time. Just try to be, uh, I mean, just so you know, you have your next actions. So you can choose, you can choose things uh, whenever you want. You can choose to do them whenever you want. Don't bind them to time. My weekly review takes like two hours or something like that. Maybe sometimes less, sometimes more, usually less. But, um, and I do them uh, usually on Sunday. And it's just reviewing my inbox, my uh, unanswered email, my next actions, my projects, and also, of course, my calendar. But then again, I try to keep everything simple and just keep everything in my next actions.